Are you looking for the fastest way to reroll for the five star character you want in Honkai Star Rail? Don't worry, we're tackling that in this video, but, but there are a couple of rules to rerolling in Star Rail. Number one, every time you try to reroll, you're gonna have to make a brand new account, which means a brand new email address for you. Number two is depending on when you're watching this video, there's gonna be various different promo codes. They're not gonna last forever. So make sure you go to your favorite search engine, Google, Bing, whatever it is, and type in Honkai Star Rail promo codes. You'll get a couple free currencies that way. So follow along, this is gonna be the fastest way to to re-roll physically in Honkai Star Rail, and we'll cover extra rules about that at the end. Now, the start of the re-roll process is going to be filled with the cutscenes in the Kafka sort of tutorial that you're going to play through here. There's nothing that you can really do to speed up this portion of the reroll. So just grin and bear it and get through of this as fast as possible. Give your character a name and make sure it's fitting. Give it a little bit of luck as we get into the next part. Once you take control of the main character and you're with March 7th, be sure that you do utilize the ability to hit enemies with weakness as it's going to speed up the battle at least a slight amount. Continue on through the main storyline here, progressing until you get to meet the boy, Dan Hung, because this guy is going to speed us up even more. Once we have access to Dan, once we're in battle, Battle, we want to use March's ability to target Dan and give him access to a shield. This will proc his passive. That's going to give him the ability to have access to wind penetration, making him hit even harder. Also continue using the basic concepts of targeting enemy shields with their proper weakness to shield break them, hitting them for additional damage and increasing the speed of your reroll process. As you progress through this introductory story mode, it is gonna wanna have you go into the inventory and level characters up. If you can, make sure you skip as much of this as possible. We're going to be doing speed run strats here and trying to stay out of our inventory menu most of the time. We're not leveling characters up to make it easier to fight enemies. We're doing nothing of that sort until we get near the end of the reroll process. There will be a slight change in our team so we can make sure that the final steps of the reroll process are as easy as they can be. And while the giant centaur man is probably the hardest boss during this reroll process, we have access to big man Dan now. And what we're going to be doing here on top of the basics, which is using the proper elements, targeting the correct shields that have those weaknesses so we can shield break enemies faster. We're gonna be using March's skill on Dan, a giant buff to his damage by using his talent passive. That wind resistance penetration and then using his ultimate skill after he slows the enemy to do giant damage to them. If you can get this down, it's a pretty sizable damage increase. If you aim for this, your runs overall will be much quicker than before. After you defeat the giant centaur man, you'll have some cutscenes, some more storyline playing, and you return to this area here where you will very soon have to make the decision if you want to continue with your reroll or stop here. And here's where you'll gain access to the actual gotcha game and polling system for the characters. You'll have a tutorial where you'll gain access to Asta as a character, which is gonna be pretty big if you want to continue your reroll. And this is also the time and place where you'll be able to utilize these different codes for the additional rewards. We do have five passwords here, so make sure you take the time, input them and get the extra free rewards for your account. You can utilize these either if you desire on the actual new player banner, or you can go ahead and throw some up on the Sealy Raid Up banner if you decide to do that. And if this is where you decide to end your reroll run, you're gonna have acquired 20 summon tickets, 16 of which you can use on the beginner banner for 20 summons. And then you'll have a few left over that you can throw on the non raid up banner and then a combination of rewards from the passwords given to you here. So you can pull on the limited Sealy Raid Up banner as well. However, if you want to continue your reroll run, we'll call it, I do have some actual methods to expedite up to another 20 summons on the standard new player banner. What we're gonna wanna do here is continue playing the main storyline. So we're gonna add Asta to our party real quick and we're going to also equip each of our characters with the free three-star light cones while we're in the menu to save a little bit of time. Oh, after that, we have to talk to these two NPCs. Go talk to this girl and basically no matter what your first option is, the correct answer to the time you need to pull the levers is always going to be the bottom option, which is up, right, and down. After you do that, you're gonna have to go talk to this other NPC way over here and you're also going to give him the answer that is on the bottom 
of the menu options. After this, we have one additional goal, which is to hit Trailblazing level five. So let's go do that. Now, continuing with the main story, we're gonna have a trial version of Himiko to use, and we're gonna have to unleash her power on this guy right here because we can't skip him. And Himiko is also gonna be extremely useful because we didn't take any time to level our character. So we're gonna be abusing this level eight Himiko with the buffs from Asta and the shields from March 7th during this final run of our reroll. Continue on after this enemy here, we're gonna be entering this room and we're gonna be skipping as many enemies as possible here. You can destroy some of the objects if you want to, but it's not necessary either to do them or to not do them for the reroll process. Continue on spamming the cutscene button as fast as possible and then get down to this guy here. He can aggro you and he probably will aggro you, but you can de-aggro him simply by running far enough away from him. I like to go to this back corner if he aggroes me on my reroll so I can pick up this treasure chest right away. And then you can just circle around and activate the panel. Enemy skips starting with this guy after you activate the panel. This guy, don't fight him, he's a centaur. Don't fight this guy in the hallway, just run by him, break the box at his face, tell him that he's nothing to you. Skip everyone in this control room, run around the outside, right over to the control panel, don't go through them and you're going to be saving so much time by not fighting these enemies. Now, this final boss isn't too difficult. You might have had trouble the first time here, but we have the physical trailblazer as well as our big Himiko March 7th to protect us in Asta as well. Asta is here to do multiple pyro instances of damage because most of these enemies here are weak to the fire element, which is also going to give us a big attack multiplier. Always make sure that you're using Asta's ability to give a large attack percent increase to your party there. Make sure that the trailblazer of the physical element is targeting the physical core. And then what we're going to be doing here is staggering how many different times we can break shields to utilize Himiko's passive talent ability to do large amounts of AOE damage. If you need to interrupt the boss because you're taking too many hits, too much damage, be sure to use March 7th to free some enemies. Be sure to use March 7th to apply a shield and then rinse and repeat. Once the core is down and he's very vulnerable to damage, don't use skills, don't use your ultimates here. Just hit them with basic attacks and you can regain your skill points, regain energy that way and just rinse and repeat for round two. After this, we only have one final thing to do and we need to get through some of these small little text messages and make our way to Herta. You wanna go talk to Himiko, which is going to unlock a quest with Herta and you're going to want to make sure that you do do this as it's going to be a big increase to our Trailblazer level. As we get into Herta's office and approach and talk to Herta, she's gonna offer us an opportunity to go into to the simulated universe. This is something that you're going to want to do and it's very, very fast in the final stretch of the reroll process as it's basically a tutorial on how to use speed up and auto battle. So just absolutely crush this with the team that it gives you. They're all trial characters. You don't need to gear anybody. Put on auto when you can, put on speed up times two when you can and rush through this simulated universe. After completing the simulated universe, you're going to be high enough trailblazing level to enter the trailblazing will menu and claim your 10 additional summons. Also make sure you check out your mailbox and claim every reward that you may have missed, including the free code rewards and then get summoning. And after you're done with these summons, there's one more thing that you can do to gain additional summons as well. Go into the actual store page and go to the Ember exchange shop and you'll have earned enough currency to buy five more additional Star Rail normal passes, which is gonna get you just over enough to do one final additional 10 pull. This will get you 40 total summons on this banner. And if you don't have access to the character that you want here and you haven't seen a five star yet, if you continue playing the game, you will be able to gain access to said five star. Very important though, on your reroll journey, if you did gain access to a five star before the full 50 summons were done, it does not mean that you will be guaranteed another five star once you do the full 50 summons. You're only guaranteed one five star out of the 50. If you get one early, you could get a second one, but you are not guaranteed to get a second one. Use this information to determine for yourself if you want to end your reroll run earlier when we gain access to Asta in the summoning system first or counter to that if you gain access to a bunch of four stars early on there and you wanna see what five star you can get down the road or whatever additional four stars, use the information in this guide to make that process as fast as possible. Hit that like, hit that sub and I'll see you in the next one.